gonna go over some wrist exercises and stretches that are awesome to do after you've done wrist grips or wrist releases. So the first one you're gonna do is you're just putting yourself in a wrist lock. So you're gonna use your first two fingers, they're gonna go over your thumb and your thumb on this hand is gonna go on your back. You're gonna go into a wrist lock. You should feel it right here and it's a good stretch. Hold it for as long as you need. Okay, for the next one, you're gonna use your first two fingers and your thumb and you're gonna push in. You should feel the stretch on the top all the way to here. And you can pulse it a little bit. Don't just hold it here, you can if you need to, but it's better to pulse it out. Last one, arm straight, your thumb is gonna be pointed down and you're gonna grab your hand with your thumb on the opposite side and pull it towards you. This, you should feel right here, you see, that there is tension. This is the stretch. Again, you can always pulse it however you need. Depends how sore your wrists are. And then from the other side, we're just gonna do opposite. Hand here, two fingers across your thumb, thumb, and push to the angle. See that I'm in my own wrist lock here. And the same, number two, you're just gonna put your hands around, push forward. And the last one, thumb is facing down. We grab the blade and we come back. And if you want a little bit extra, a good way to end is put your hands into a praying motion. Push your hands together, feel the pressure. Go from side to side. Now while keeping your shoulders down, your elbows down, you're gonna come in towards yourself, and then come back and release. And do that as many times as you need. These are a great tool to have, especially if you're in the middle of wrist grips and your wrists are just killing you. You can just sit here and do these all the live long day. These are really gonna help your wrists feel more relaxed and feel better in what a really hard wrist workout.